ever since the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, scientists have been closely tracking levels of two key radioactive substances. They are cesium-134, which has a half-life of two years, and cesium-137, which has a half-life of 30 years. These two radioactive substances can appear in trace amounts in food. However, the human body can safely take up to one millisievert of radiation through food or other non-background exposure, according to international guidelines. Studies in several countries have shown that the average person gets nowhere near that dose limit through normal food intake. On average, the radiation intake through food comes to 0.001 to 0.003 millisieverts a year, which is just 0.1% to 0.3% of the allowable limit. Those concerned will convert that to ionizing radiation and worry about the potential carcinogenic risk. The risk is about 10 to the power of negative 7. It's about 1 in 10 million. Carcinogenic risk that's less than 1 in 1 million is regarded as relatively low. Regarding this risk assessment data, there's quite a large amount of data, and so I consider it to be believable. But the public still has the right to choose. Food safety checks have a very important role. I hope that the government will maintain safety checks on food imports from these five Japanese prefectures. I hope that the food will be clearly labeled. On Tuesday, experts weighed in on the executive yuan's decision to end its Japan food ban. They said that scientific safety assessments should be respected and that in the end, consumers will get the final say in the free market.